Today for dinner I'm making turmeric fish and I got get a lot of fish from my friend who goes fishing and every time he goes fishing he brings me whatever he catches. So today we are having turmeric fish which is very very good. I make it all the time and it's very healthy the turmeric for you. Grandpa and I never have aches and pains and I swear it's from eating the turmeric. Any way I can incorporate it in a dish, I do. The ingredients are, of course, my fresh fish, cup of water, a cup of flour, two tablespoons of turmeric, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and one egg. Now the first thing I'm going to do is break an egg in my bowl and add the water. But I'll see if a cup is too much. I'll just add it, but I don't think so. A cup is fine. And now I'll whisk it. You can also use milk, but I've used water. Uh, one time I tried it even coating the fish with a little coconut oil and that worked okay. But today I'm going to use um, the water with the egg. Now the next ingredient is my cup of flour, the two tablespoons of turmeric, and the, about a teaspoon of black pepper because I don't want to make the pepper too overpowering. And whenever you use turmeric, you should also use black pepper. So now you have to stir it so you blend it well. It's done enough. You could see it's orange. The only thing when you use turmeric, you have to be very careful. It does stain if you get it on anything, your clothes or anything. It does tend to stain, so just be careful. Now I'm going to coat the fish. See what nice fish this is? This is so, you can't get this fish any fresher. Because as soon as he catches it, that, that same day he gets it to me and I put it right in the freezer. I think this is blackfish that he he caught this time out because he got, travels to Montauk Point or from Montauk Point. Sometimes he goes to Massachusetts. He just loves fishing. But to be honest, he doesn't eat it. <laughs> it's the rare case that he loves to fish, but he doesn't like fish to eat. So I benefit. Grandpa and I benefit from it. If you don't want to use flour with the turmeric, you could also use breadcrumbs. That works fine. Some people like to um, coat their fish with um, flour and then, then egg and then breadcrumbs. Sometimes that gives you an even more crisp fish. So it's up to you, whatever you like. Now the fish is all coated and I like to put it in the refrigerator for about a half an hour before I fry it. I just took the fish out of the refrigerator and it's ready to be fried. As you can see, it has the orange color and that's the coating of the turmeric with the flour. Now I'm heating up my frying pan. Now you can see the frying pan looks orange also because like I said we use a lot of turmeric when we when we cook. And now I'm adding some coconut oil. I like to cook my fish in coconut oil but you could do olive oil, 
You could do whatever you would like to uh, cook the fish in. I'm using about two tablespoons of coconut oil. The oil has melted and now I'm adding my fish. Now I'm going to fry my fish for about 10 minutes on each side. The fish has been cooking for 16 minutes and I'm now going to turn it over to the other side. See how nice and brown it is? When you fry fish you get it much more crunchy. If you cook it in the oven then it's going to be soft and it's about 10 minutes later and my fish is all cooked nice. It's ready for Grandpa to taste it. How's it taste, Grandpa? I'll let you know in a minute, Ma. Mmm, good, delicious. You can taste the turmeric. They're very hot. Well, don't burn your tongue now. Very good. The fish is nicely cooked. 